You've seen this moment a thousand times on medical shows. A critical patient goes south on the operating table, blood pressure drops, they bleed out, their heart stops, and heroic doctors do what they can. They auto-transfuse, perform CPR, and while all else fails, they do what ER viewers know is the last resort. They crack the chest and start shocking and massaging the heart manually. But for all their efforts, there's nothing that can be done. Some days, that's what it's like writing a spec script. There are plenty of times where I've dealt with the same writer who's come back to me again and again for notes and guidance. Sometimes they take my input and the story gets better, and sometimes they don't take my specific suggestions, but my critiques encourage them to rethink some areas and come back with better ideas. And sometimes, there's just no improving the script. It doesn't mean that they're a bad writer, but it could mean that they're not the right writer for this script. Or maybe they were at one point, but they've lost the passion for the idea, and now they're just flogging this dying screenplay, trying to salvage all the time they've invested in it. Not every idea can be saved. The hardest thing to do sometimes is walk away, and frankly, some writers really need to learn that. At least to the audience, it's always clear when the TV doctors aren't going to save the day. The heroic measures become less considered and more often turn into a Hail Mary. Now, so next time you're buried in rewrites, you should maybe step back and say, hmm, is that me? There are some scripts you'll write that ultimately just aren't meant to be shown to anyone else. Instead, they're pretty much more valuable for the experience of having written them. There are things that you can learn about writing that no teacher, book, executive, or reader can teach. You can only learn by doing. And now if you're lucky, sometimes those learning experience scripts might be salvageable. But since they were forged out of inexperience, they might have structural deficiencies that make it more difficult to rewrite easily than something that you've developed since learning on the job. My rule is, never go a year without starting at least one new screenplay. At any given time, I've got an ID file with two dozen or more concepts. And my, thought, my theory is, keep moving forward. Always be going on to new things and always be improving as a writer with new ideas. Don't keep working on the same idea. That way, even if you get bogged down with a critical patient, you've got something else to move on to and start fresh. Never be afraid to walk away from your own writing. You'll learn something from it, and chances are, giving up on something can make you a better writer. If you've got questions, Leave them for me in comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you back here next week.